If I check this checkbox, it will trigger a webhook that will start the scenario in make.com. It will send the row number, column A value, column B value, column C value. It will give me the status of the scenario. And once it's done, it's going to show here done. So let's try it out. As you can see, the automation is running. Once it's finished, this will change to done. Hey, my name is Yanis, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can start your make.com scenarios straight from your Google Sheets documents without need to go to make.com, click run once. You can just tick a checkbox on your Google Sheet, trigger a webhook, send the data from the current row and start this and start the workflow. I'm going to show you around. So basically, uh, when I enter data in column A, column B, column C. Uh, this will give me a checkbox here. So let's try it. Let's type here make.com. This is automation description. Uh, here I'm going to write my email. And as you can see, it automatically adds checkbox here. And if I check it, it will run the scenario. If I delete value from here, the checkbox will disappear, meaning these three fields are mandatory for the checkbox to appear. This is all set up with Google Apps Scripts. I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, also, if I uncheck this checkbox, I can rerun the scenario once again. So to make this you simply need to go to your google sheets uh, file new new spreadsheet so we're going to start over and i'm going to show you how you can do it so let's set up everything like i have here it's going to be keyword description uh, email and execute And this is will, this is going to be status. And we're going to receive updates if the scenario is running, etc. You can uh, update this however you want. So this is going to be all bold. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools. Uh, sorry, to extensions. Click app script. This will open a window for you where you can add a code then we're gonna go to chat GPT uh, we're gonna write a message here write a prompt I need okay so this is the prompt um, I'm gonna have it in uh, the video description or the comment section you will find it. Uh, you can adjust it to whatever you need. For for example, in this scenario, I need the checkbox to appear in column D, but you can write here, let's say column G or whatever. And you can set the conditions in this prompt as you want. Okay, so uh, ChatGPT now gonna give me uh, the app script. Uh, he's just explaining what he what he's gonna do and here is the function that's gonna do this for us okay so we're gonna copy this head back to google sheets sorry to the app script we're gonna paste here what chatgpt wrote to us we're gonna remain rename these fields so it's easier for us to map them out uh, in make.com so this is going to be keyword this is going to be description and this will be email and now i'm going to go to make.com i'm going to go to scenarios 
I'm going to create a new scenario and I'm going to click on webhooks and I'm going to choose a custom webhook. I'm going to add new webhook. This is going to be my uh, Google Sheets webhook. I'm going to save it and I'm going to copy this URL by clicking this button. Now I'm going to head back to the app script tab. And as you can see, ChatGPT here uh, wrote that I need to replace this with the actual webhook URL. So I'm going to paste the URL here. And that's it. That's all you have to do here. You can click on save. Uh, after that, you need to go to the trigger ta uh, to triggers here and you need to add a trigger and this is going to be on edit function and the event type is going to be on edit and we're going to click on save and once you click on save this is important part it's going to ask you to sign in with your google account uh, my name, my google account is this one so i'm going to use that and once you see this message don't click back to safety but click on advanced scroll down and go to untitled project uh, yeah and now you need to allow this project to access your uh, google sheets spreadsheets i'm allowing that and it should create the trigger now okay so what what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check if this works so we're going to firstly rename the spreadsheet to make.com video and webhook or whatever you want so this will be keyword will be youtube description will be webhook and my email will be chinesejsautomate.com and now as you can see, the checkbox appears here. Let's go to our scenario that we just created with the webhook. We're gonna click on save and we're gonna click on run once to see if the webhook is working. Okay, so let's click execute. Let's head back to, and you can see here we have our row number, keyword, description, and email. So how to add status updates, we're going to have a plus sign here, uh, go to Google Sheets, update a row. Uh, we need to find our spreadsheet, which is make.com video, make video webhook. Yep. And then we need to select the sheet one. We, and the row number, we're going to select from our webhook response. It's going to be row number and here where the status is i like to write is uh, scenario running okay and just for the um just to showcase how after this part you would have your own scenario i'm gonna add a sleep timer and uh, just for five seconds um to show you how it works so in the place of the sleep timer you would have your own scenario which you usually go to make.com and trigger by clicking run once but this in using my method you can run it from straight away from google sheets without need to go to make.com and we're just gonna clone this module add it after the sleep module and just change the status to done Okay, and we can click save. Uh, we can uh, switch this on. So the scenario is on. And let's head to our spreadsheet. Uncheck this checkbox. And let's uh, check it again. And this time it should show the status scenario running. And after five seconds, it should change to done yeah so if i now delete this description 
the checkbox will disappear. I'm gonna add uh, whatever uh, make.com and we're gonna have the checkbox again. In the next row, if I add uh, JS Automate here, description YouTube and my email, uh, the checkbox will appear here. I'm gonna check it and now it's gonna send the values of this row three to uh, make.com, run the scenario and return the status done. So yeah, uh, I will have this um, uh, prompt for chat, G uh, for chat GPT in the um, description and hopefully this um, Hopefully this uh, little video will save you time going to make.com if you have some scenarios that you run manually uh, and you use Google Sheets, you can run the scenario straight from your Google Sheets without needing to log into make.com account and to run um, the workflow. For me, I use it personally, I save time. Um, and uh, I don't visit make.com that much often because I can do everything from my spreadsheet. So if you find the video helpful, um, make sure you subscribe, like the video. Uh, in case you need help with your automations, get in touch with me. My email, my contact details are in the description. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.